At Cooperstown, there are Hall of Fame plaques for Minnie Minoso this year, and past inductees Randy Johnson, Armin Killebrew, and a Ford Frick broadcast honoree Bob Euchre. And they once wore the same uniform as Andrew McCutcheon, Roger Maris, Herb Score, Ken Griffey Sr., and Key Brian Hayes. Indianapolis, a team with a heritage of 120 years. For the last 17 seasons, the Pirates AAA affiliate, through time, Indy has been a talent builder for seven other teams, including the old Boston Braves, Montreal Expos, and Cleveland. That nickname, under review. The team formed a committee in 2020 to evaluate its appropriateness and continues conversations with a variety of Native American representatives and other stakeholders about it and the club logos. As of the August 2nd trade deadline, 40 players went between Indy and the Pirates, 12 making their big league debuts. Team president and GM Randy Lewandowski, who has been with the franchise 28 years, wasn't surprised by all this traffic. We kept our seamstress busy, but we had a good idea that it was gonna happen. We also know that being a AAA field manager this year, Miguel Perez, that's probably one of the hardest jobs in all professional sports because the rosters do change so much. We are super excited about what the Pirates have coming. We, we can tell a difference with the talent that is down here and what's coming, and even as they backfill with guys from Double A, uh, and there is a genuine excitement in the Pirates front office. Genuine excitement at PNC Park on Father's Day. Outfielder Jack Sawinski, who went from Double A to the Bucks, became the first rookie in Major League history to hit three home runs in a game that included a walk-off as the Pirates beat the Giants. Leading all National League rookies in homers with 14, he hit a batting slump, resulting in an assignment to Indy. In his second game there, this his second of two blasts against the St. Saint Paul Saints. Players coming and going like Sawinski have no effect on the Indy fan base. Playing at Victory Field, capacity just under 14,000, the team often leads all of minor league baseball in attendance. I would consider Indy a sports craze market. We've been around for 120 years. I think over the last 25 plus years, Victory Field has been that linchpin. The ballpark is beautiful. It looks almost brand new. It's comfortable, it's safe, it's clean, it's convenient. We know the product on the field is gonna change, but that's why we built the, the experience and memories around Victory Field, the ballpark, and the future stars that will be playing in Pittsburgh. This summer, Victory Field greeted its 15 million fans in 25 plus years. There was an earlier Victory Field, also known as Bush Stadium. It inspired the Ivy at Wrigley Field in Chicago and was home to the filming of the baseball movie, Eight Men Out. There's history, 120 years, 13 Hall of Famers, but even today, countless other big leaguers. And also coming into this park, generations of fans to experience a baseball game.